Welcome back, Leah. Sun, moon, and rising. We're going to be looking at your monthly oh, August 2022 um, general reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as Cross Watchers. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to help support this channel and also help grow this channel. If you would like a personal reading with me, my information is listed below. There's also listed in the description is my social media links. So please remember to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. Okay, Leo, monthly August 2022, sun, moon, and rising. Again, if this reading doesn't resonate with you, please check out your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus. Okay, Leos. What's going on with Leos? Okay. So you're the hermit, six of wands, page of wands, and two of swords. Okay, let's just go ahead and start right there. Please remember to watch this video until the end as I will be pulling out um, oracle cards for you. Okay, Leo, we have the hermit. So the hermit is about um, doing some soul searching. I feel like, you know, there's been some kind of long awaited communication that you've been waiting for and it looks like you're going to be receiving it this month. And it's kind of unexpected for you, Leos. So with the Hermit, it's about kind of doing some soul searching or someone you have kind of withdrawn from to put things into more perspective for yourself. So some of you feel like you need to kind of rest from a particular connection. And I'm getting like rest your mind, which some of you could need a little bit more time to deal with um, or to deal with or to kind of sort this situation through it could be somebody from your past or it could be somebody like new who's coming into your life but i do feel like for most of you it's like you're just trying to shine this month you could be feeling very like optimistic we have the six of wands with the page of wands and i get a lot of communication coming towards you but also this is good news this is a victory so remember leo this is your kind of your season so by the way leos i forgot to say happy birthday to all my leos <laughs> um happy birthday leos um but I, I do feel like you're going to have some victory, some success with a lot of communication coming in towards you, Leos. So you desire like a new, I get, like there's something new. It could be a new project and you're just super happy and excited about that. It could be a new job opportunity that's coming towards you. But your desires are being like, I get a lot of spontaneous and adventurous energy from you this month, Leos. So like maybe some of you are kind of exploring um it, Exploring, I get exploring, like wanting or desiring to explore. Maybe you've done some soul searching and you're like, okay, I, I want to do this and I'm going to do X, Y, and Z. Some of you could be traveling, um, but I really feel like you're in your own happiness and you're only wanting to be around people who are going to bring happiness towards you, if that makes sense. So even if you do get communication in, and this person, like let's say somebody around you is, is the two of swords where they're kind of closed off, I feel like this month... You're just going to kind of like move past this person or maybe not communicate with this person. Like it's almost like I don't want to deal with this person right now or I'm not going to or we stop talking. So why why even open up the communication again? Because you know that if it didn't work before, it's not going to work now. The other thing that I'm getting is some of you could be um getting an invite or getting many invitations or many social opportunities and I'm seeing like some of you will be a little bit choosy with what invitations are being presented towards you especially in terms of like social groups because i feel like for some of you there's if you're feeling like you're being choosy and that's it there's nothing wrong with being choosy in terms of like who you want to put your energy around or who you want to even spend time with so even though it's your birthday month and you're celebrating and people are really happy and um there's a lot of joyous energy here i do feel like you're going to be a little bit more selective on who you choose to bring into your life There could be somebody that you're just avoiding right now. And this could be, you know, a person from your past. And I'm also seeing like you want or will choose more like like-minded people who are kind of matching your higher energy at this time. Because, I mean, you guys are in your birthday month. So it, it does make sense. But I feel like you're working towards um, 
your goals, but at the same time, you're focusing on your inner self. So some of you could be doing some inner growth and doing more research or just doing spiritual soul searching. And you're not allowing um, people who don't have, who are not at the same energetic level towards you to come into your life or you're not giving any type of, you're not giving that energy time and effort at this moment. And I do feel like for some of you, like if you are invited to certain, you might get a, a quite a few invitations socially. And you're going to be a little bit choosy about who you spend your time with or who you want to be around. So there could be some invitations that you end up like just saying, no, thank you. Um, or you just kind of like close it off, especially if there's some energy from your past coming back. Okay, so... I do feel like with the six of wands, you guys have some sort of achievement. So I don't want to dismiss that. And there is some good news for you, Leos. Could be some of you gaining a, like a higher knowledge as well for you, Leos. And it could also be somebody. Or there could be a, a situation. And I feel like for some of you, you'll, you'll entertain communication. Because you're not even expecting this person to come towards you or to contact you. Specifically with the two of swords. I feel like this person could be from your past. And they want to communicate something. But you're holding back, Leo. Maybe for some of you, you're not sure if you could trust this person. But I feel like for some of you, you're open to hearing what they have to say. And you're not sure... Like how this person will react. And also, the other thing I'm getting with this energy with the two of swords, the page of wands, like somebody can come towards you and try to communicate with you. And I feel like there's a like a held back resistance of really speaking your truth. Because you're kind of concerned of like how this person's going to react. You're concerned. Like there's a little bit of fear here with you, Leos. And it makes sense because there's a blindfold on the two of swords. And it, it's like you're, you're not sure how this person's going to react when you really tell them how you feel. Um, uh, okay, so we have the four of cups, Leo. And I am, I, I'm getting like sometimes for – like there's a change. There's a desire for you to want to change your situation, change the way you've approached things, especially in around the love situation – so there's definitely some changes that are happening towards you, Leo. You have options in love. And I just feel like you, like, we look at the, the Four of Cups, and for some of you, you've been so focused on that one cup that you didn't even see um, the other opportunities that were available towards you. Because you were so kind of focused on one particular person. And you've been holding on. And now you're starting to feel a little bit regretful that you held on for so long. It's almost like you have an understanding now of this connection that you have with this person. And I'm not seeing you making any changes to fix the situation. Because, Leos, I really feel like you're really kind of focused on the, you know, we have the Ace of Pentacles here. So with the Four of Cups, it could be like you've given this person a lot of um, time and energy. And it was the wrong person. And now you're being a little bit more open to these other options that are around you. So kind of allow things to just full, uh, unfold naturally for, for you, Leo, this month. Um, we do have the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles could be a Earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. And you're really focused. This could be somebody new coming into your life because it's always about new. So Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning, new opportunity. But it also could represent a new um, financial opportunity followed by the three of cups is showing me like you're going to be super happy super surprised like it's, it's kind of unexpected for for you it could be somebody new that you meet in your life um you meet this month and it could be while you're out celebrating maybe even your birthday or somebody else's birthday but i, I am getting a new person coming in towards you leos and it's followed by the ten of pentacles so with the ten of pentacles it's like this person is wanting what you need. Maybe you both kind of focus on your career, your finances, and your work, and that's how this connection evolves. Or it, it 
resonates with you. Like you feel like you're connected to this person because you're seeing this person as somebody who's also in maybe a similar position. Like you can resonate with this new person that's coming in. If it's not somebody new, I am seeing, because I do feel like Leo's, you really want to kind of be single this month and just focus on your partying. Like, especially with the six of wands, this is somebody who's like by themselves and just kind of enjoying their victory, their success. But I do feel like there's a major financial opportunity for you, Leo's, this month. So you have a new long-term opportunity that will bring you financial gains. And I'm seeing Leo's, you are about to reach a significant milestone, especially in work, career, and finances. We have the Three of Cups followed by the Ten of Pentacles. So this is definitely something big coming in with your finances. Definitely an increase in finances. With the Three of Cups, I feel like you'll be out celebrating with friends. You could be even celebrating this um, recognition or this financial gain that does come in for you this month, Leo. And you're super happy about this opportunity. It's like it's almost like a double surprise. This is what I'm getting. So if you think that you've already received something at this point, um, Leo is there. You know, expect something better or even better to come in towards you. Because I am seeing that. Some of you are definitely, you know, um, you know, we have two aces here. So um, we have, yeah, we have two, we have the page of wands and the ace of pentacles. And it's, those are about new beginnings. We have the strength card, which is your personal card, the six of cups, the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles. Yeah. Okay. Leo's and at the bottom of the deck, the eight of pentacles, you're very focused on work and career and finances. I feel like you're going to be receiving a, um, um, an opportunity. It could be a job promotion or a financial opportunity deal or contract because it is, we do have the ace of pentacles there. So it's something big, it's something significant that's going to drastically change your finances this month, Leo. With the strength card, which is your personal um, card, Leo, you've gotten to a point where you're very strong, you're very determined. I do feel like you are, um, or you will be receiving, obviously, gifts with the Six of Cups, the King of Pentacles. Yeah, the strength, Leo, is you might be dealing with another Leo also, by the way. And with the Six of Cups, it could be somebody from your past that you are dealing with. But this person from your past um, will be communicating with you this month, with you, Leo. And they're wanting to try to find balance with the connection between the two of you. And then we also have the King and the Queen together, right? So these are people that are very focused on their career finances. And both of you are very independent. But at the same time, you both are very um, in charge of your own worlds. And... In order for this connection to come towards you, Leo's, you guys have to have like a clear understanding regarding finance, career, and work. Like, if this is an energy that does come into your um, energy this month, Leo's, you have to make sure that you communicate clearly that this is what you both desire. Because you're really on the same page, but maybe with the two of swords, you're not speaking what you need and what you want from a connection. Other than, or maybe you're only talking to this person about work, career, and finances. There is somebody from your past that's coming in and wanting to offer you the, um, more stability. I feel like they're very independent. But I just feel like for some of you, you're not making any major decisions in terms of relationships. I feel like the one thing that you're really focused on is having a better balance with work, career, and finances, but also socializing. You're in your very social butterfly mood, which is good. I, I, I feel like that's gonna create more balance for you Leos this month. We have the Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, and this is showing me the Eight of Pentacles is like you've reached a point where you're starting to see the significant um, changes as a result of your hard work and effort that you've been putting in. And there is a significant movement also happening in around your career, your work, and finances. Some of you could be recognized for, all, for your hard work, for your skills. And your person is really trying hard to show you, with that King of Pentacles, that they can match you right now. 
So I do feel like you're going to be having, you're going to be involved in a long drawn out conversation with a person from your past, Leos, um, or somebody that you're currently dealing with. And it looks like a lot of the conversation is going to always lead back to financials or career or goals or inspirations. There's definitely showing, they're definitely trying to show you that they're more reliable, the person from your past. Um, Leos, it's going to be up to you whether you decide to um, entertain a new connection because you do have other options, especially in around love, or if you're going to work with this person from your past. I don't tell anybody what to do. Again, you have to make your own um, decisions. But I, I am seeing this person from your past is going to try to come back towards you and show you and try to be a little bit more balanced, more stable, and, and show you what you mean to them in the connection. And they could start off with something small um, where they're coming in and financially, like bringing a financial gain towards you. Okay, Leos, let's go ahead and pull... Um, I'll pull two Angel Abundance Oracle cards. This is by Doreen Virtue. Yeah, release jealousy. Okay, Leo, so if you're feeling jealous about a particular situation, and I, I have to be honest with you, I did kind of feel like maybe that's why you had done some soul searching with yourself. Like, why am I feeling this way? Why am I feeling this way about this person from my past? Why do I even worry about what they're doing, how they're feeling, or what they're up to? Because jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something, and the universe manifests exactly as you affirm. Let other people, success, inspire you rather than frustrate you. If you can have it, if, if they can have it, so can you. Um, clear debts. I feel like you guys are working on your, your finances. We also got savings, but I'm going to pull another one. So um, let's, let's go ahead and read this. Your self-care involves removing the heavy burdens of your financial and emotional debts from your life. You already feel lighter and freer just facing this topic and making a plan to clear present obligations and avoid future ones as well. I feel like, yeah, you're focusing on your career, your finances, which is about to change for you, Leos. You're releasing this energy from your past of, of feeling jealous or maybe worrying about somebody else being more successful than you. Or there is a need for you to do that. And maybe that's why we do have the Hermit card because they're saying focus on you because you're going to reap the rewards that you deserve and continue to do your soul searching, Leos. But overall, it seems like an awesome month um, for you, Leos. There's definitely the Three of Cups, celebrating, partying, um, and you do have this new big financial opportunity, and it's unexpected, Leos. So please remember to comment below because I would love to hear how this reading resonates with you, Leos. And also, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. If you would like a personal reading with me, my, that information is listed below. Thank you so much. Until next time, love and night.